This is a story of a Japanese professor who tracks down Einstein's brain in a bizarre documentary. This 1994 documentary of Einstein's brain, is a curious artifact about an even stranger relic, the brain of the great physicist, extracted from his body hours after he died in 1955. The brain was dissected, then embarked on a convoluted misadventure, in several pieces, across the North American continent. Before Einstein's brain tells this story, it introduces us to our guide, Japanese scholar Kenji Sugimoto, who immediately emerges as an eccentric figure. We encounter him in a darkened cathedral, staring up at a backlit stained glass clear story, praying, perhaps, though if he's praying to anyone, it's probably Albert Einstein. His first words in heavily accented English express a deep reverence for Einstein alone. I love Albert Einstein, he says, with religious conviction, gazing at a stained glass window portrait of the scientist. I deeply regret that I never met Einstein. If you are still alive, I would do everything in my power to meet him. Einstein teaches me about love as well as science, passion, love, and science. I love Albert Einstein. Sugimoto's devotion perfectly illustrates what a Physics World article described as the cultural elevation of Einstein to the status of a secular saint. Sugimoto's zeal, and the rather implausible events that follow this opening, have prompted many people to question the authenticity of his film and to accuse him of perpetrating a hoax. Some of those critics may mistake Sugimoto's social awkwardness and wide-eyed enthusiasm for credulousness and unprofessionalism, but it is worth noting that he is experienced and credentialed as a professor in mathematics and science history at the Kinki University in Japan and according to a title card, he spent 30 years documenting Einstein's life and person. Based on all available data, the basic premise and the events shown in the documentary are indeed true. In the film, Sugimoto travels across the U.S. in search of Dr. Thomas Harvey, the man who originally removed Einstein's brain at Princeton. In 1955-32, patient died on April 15th. Now Einstein died the, about the 18th, I believe. 32, and here we see it goes right to 34. So and this is on the 18th, April 18th. So 33 is missing. Which, which was Einstein's. Which should have been Einstein's. Number 33. So it goes from 32, skips, goes to 34, yeah. and then, then on to 35. So Einstein's autopsy is missing from our files. Oh. Well, Dr. Harvey did the autopsy on number 33. Einstein's autopsy. So maybe Dr. Harvey has it. Maybe some other administrator has that file. Eventually, Sugimoto tracks down Thomas Harvey at his home in Kansas. Today, uh, my dreams realize a long time I wish to meet you, Dr. Harvey. I am now st studying about Einstein's uh, life and work, and in particular, oh. Einstein's personality. Sure. And uh, Einstein's uh, the evolution of the brain. Sure. I'm very interested in. Very Einstein, uh, maybe Einstein brain is uh, the greatest scientist and the special theater. That's uh, true. I, I think. <laughs> well, you're not the only one. Good many mm. think about it uh -huh. as the greatest. Mm. And and I, may, I, may I ask some questions? Uh, uh, please uh, show me uh, Einstein's and the memory of that. I what I have of oh. his? Yes. Well, <clears throat> now these are photos of the brain, of course. That's oh. got a cover on it. Is this Einstein? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is Einstein. <laughs> oh, 
あるんだけどもはい。His brain has been sectioned,、oh. into, cut into many pieces,、oh. as you see. We can show、oh. you. This is a piece of that. Yeah, those are pieces of this.、Oh. Those pieces are all numbered. So we know exactly what part of the brain it is. How many pieces are there? Oh, oh wow.、Uh, At this point, Sugimoto makes a shocking request. He asks Harvey if he could have a small piece of the brain to keep as a personal memento. Surprisingly, Harvey says, I don't see any reason why not.、Uh, if possible, s、uh, for my lecture at the university,、yeah. can you give me a piece of slice of Einstein's brain? <laughs> はい。This. I'd better get a、uh, spoon to fish this out with. Okay. He cuts a small section from a sample he identifies as being part of Einstein's brain stem yeah, and cerebellum and gives it to Sugimoto in a small container. Brain stem and cerebellum.、Oh. Okay, now let me get that jar that、uh, I had. That will preserve your hands. <laughs>、oh. In the final scene, Sugimoto celebrates by taking his piece of the brain to a local karaoke bar and singing a favorite Japanese song. The notion that the bulk of Einstein's brain would have ended up in a closet in Kansas seems strange enough, 
And as for Harvey, the pathologist shopped the brain around for decades, if not for profit, then for notoriety, even driving across the country with journalist Michael Paterniti in 1997 to deliver a large portion of the brain to Dr. Sandra Weidelson of McMaster University in Ontario. Paterniti documented the road trip in his book Driving Mr. Albert, which appears to corroborate much of Sugimoto's narrative, though the trip may itself have been a publicity stunt. In addition to the brain, Einstein's eyes were also removed, without authorization, by his ophthalmologist, who kept them in a safety deposit box, where they presumably remain. The entire story of Einstein's remains is gruesomely outlandish, though one might consider it a modern celebrity example of the centuries-old practice of body snatching. If some or all of this intrigues you, you'll appreciate Sugimoto's documentary. Unfortunately, the video upload is rough. It was recorded from Swedish television, has Swedish subtitles, and is generally pretty low resolution. However, as a title card at the opening tells us, due to the extremely limited availability of this documentary, this will have to suffice until a copy of higher quality rises to the surface. If you are new to this channel, we recommend that you check out and like our other videos, and while you're at it, do subscribe as well to keep you updated with our latest content and informative videos on YouTube. We would like to hear from you and let us know if you like this video. Just comment down below, and I'll see you next time.